In this video, we will look at uh, the various frequency domain specifications. So here is a list of frequency domain specifications. The performance and the characteristics of a system in frequency domain are measured in terms of these uh, frequency domain specifications. So it is something uh, uh, similar uh, to time domain specifications in time domain. So the first one uh, is resonant peak which is denoted by M suffix R. Before we enter into the definitions of these specifications, uh, students kindly bring to your mind the frequency response curves that we have discussed in the previous video. That is the curve between uh, uh, magnitude and uh, log frequency, that is a frequency and uh, curve between uh, phase and frequency. Okay. Uh, just bring that to your mind so that uh, uh, in this flow you will understand uh, the various uh, frequency domain specifications. So, resonant peak is the maximum value of magnitude of closed loop transfer function. That is what is called as a resonant peak. Okay. And the frequency at which this peak is going to occur that is called as a resonant frequency omega r denoted by omega r. So, two things. One is the frequency at which the maximum is going to occur. Another one is the maximum value of the magnitude. So, these two forms, uh, 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 first and second uh, specification in frequency domain. The next one is uh, bandwidth. Uh, the bandwidth is range of frequencies for which the system gain is more than minus 3 dB. Okay, uh, it is as simple as that. Uh, and the frequency at which the gain is minus 3 dB is called as cutoff frequency. The another one uh, specification is cutoff rate. So, the slope of uh, magnitude curve, okay, the slope of magnitude curve uh, near the cutoff frequency is called as cutoff rate, okay. So, you have to compute the slope at the cutoff frequency, okay. So, that is called as cutoff rate. So, there is another frequency domain specification called as gain margin, okay. So, to define gain margin, you should, you should understand something called uh, uh, phase crossover frequency. So, phase crossover frequency is nothing but the frequency at which the phase of the open loop transfer function is minus 180 degree. So, once you have found the phase crossover frequency, that is the frequency at which the phase of the open loop transfer function is minus 180 degree. After finding the phase crossover frequency, you have to find the magnitude of open loop transfer function at this frequency and make a reciprocal so that you get a gain margin. So, kg that is the gain margin is equal to a reciprocal of magnitude of uh, open loop transfer function at phase crossover frequency. So, it is reciprocal of magnitude of open loop transfer function at what frequency? Phase crossover frequency. So, maybe now I am giving you only the definition. Uh, when you draw the frequency response curves, we will compute it so that uh, that time it will be easy for you to follow. So, if you want gain margin in dB, of course, you have to apply 20 log. Okay, So, 20 log of this term. When this goes to the numerator, it becomes minus 20 log of G of J omega at PC. So, the frequency that uh, you have to supply is phase crossover frequency and find what is the g value and apply log so you so that you will get a uh, gain margin in decibels another one frequency domain specification is phase margin so for definition of phase margin uh, we require uh, gain crossover frequency okay so the frequency at which the gain of uh, the open loop transfer function is unity or 0 dB is called as phase crossover, sorry, gain crossover frequency, GC, okay, omega GC. This is your gain, gain crossover frequency, the frequency at which the gain of open loop transfer function is unity or you can tell it in terms of dB as 0 dB. That frequency is called as gain crossover frequency. 
So you have to compute phase at gain crossover frequency. Once you compute phase at gain crossover frequency, plus 180 degree will give you the phase margin. This is the additional phase lag. Phase margin is the additional phase lag that you can add to the uh, system so that uh, the system does not uh, become uh, unstable. So that uh, the system is brought to the verge of instability but uh, still it is uh, uh, not becoming unstable. So it is the additional phase lag that you add to the uh, system. Okay, So that is called as phase margin. So now we will look at uh, the derivations uh, or the formula for uh, various frequency domain specifications. So now we are considering a second order system. So this is the transfer function of a standard second order system. So as per the definition of resonant peak, it, uh, resonant peak is the maximum value of this transfer function. That is what is the uh, resonant peak. So now we are going to calculate maximum value of this function. Okay. So let me first uh, uh, replace all the S with J omega. So if, uh, C of J omega by R of J omega. Let me uh, give a name for this transfer function as T of J omega. So now my uh, objective is to find what is the maximum value of the magnitude of T of J omega. Okay. So, so T of J omega is... Uh, uh, written like this after substituting s is equal to j omega. Now you can divide both the numerator and denominator by omega n so that you get like this. So now you get terms like uh, omega divided by omega n. So any frequency divided by natural frequency you can write it as normalized frequency u. So normalized frequency u. So suppose if you are going to uh, divide a resonant frequency with the normal frequency, natural frequency, then you will get a normalized uh, resonant frequency ur. If you are going to divide bandwidth frequency by the uh, natural frequency, then you will get normalized uh, bandwidth frequency ub. Okay. So whatever is the suffix you write here at this point, that has to be written here also. Okay. Now, of course, there is no suffix written because it is frequency divided by natural frequency. You call it as normalized frequency u. So now we will replace this frequency with the normalized frequency u. So I get a function like this. Now this function has a, a real part and imaginary part. So this can be written in terms of magnitude and phase. So magnitude of A plus JB is square root of A square plus B square and phase is tan inverse of B by A. Here B is 2 tau U and A is 1 minus U square. So this is your magnitude and this is your phase. Okay. Now let me write the magnitude of uh, this fellow separately and phase of this fellow separately and write it by name uh, M and alpha. So M is magnitude of T of J omega and alpha is the phase of T of J omega. So now we are bothered about this M because for resonant peak you have to compute the magnitude of closed loop transfer function that is the maximum value of uh, closed loop transfer function. So that means that you have to find maximum value of M. How to find a maximum value of a function? So M is now a function on U. How to find a maximum value of M? So we all know that you have to differentiate uh, m with respect to u and you get it to 0. So that you get a condition on u and that condition has to be substituted again in this function m so that you get the maximum value of m. That is the way we find maximum va value for any function. So now I am going to differentiate m with respect to u and equate it to 0. So you can see here. I have differentiated uh, m with respect to u. So once you do this, so minus 1 by 2 comes here, okay, whole power minus 3 by 2. Again, this has to be differentiated. So the differentiation is given here. And this function has to be equated to 0. 
of course the, this fellow will come in the denominator and when you equate it to 0 this becomes a 0 and you will be left out with only one term and that will be equal to 0 so after a small uh, derivative part you will get u is equal to square root of 1 minus 2 tau square so this is the condition or uh, this is the frequency at which the maximum value of m is going to occur so we can term this as a resonant frequency so this is the frequency at which the maximum value of m is going to occur so uh, as per the definition of resonant frequency uh, you can give here the name resonant frequency u r of course normalized uh, u r okay u suffix r resonant frequency resonant normalized frequency u suffix r is equal to square root of 1 minus 2 tau square now this has to be uh, substituted in m so that you get m r that is resonant peak so resonant peak resonant peak is nothing but m function at u is equal to u r so now I have to substitute instead of this u square root of 1 minus 2 tau square so as to get the maximum value for m so you see here I have substituted for u just uh, after uh, one or two steps you will get this value just reduce it you will get mr is equal to 1 by 2 tau square root of 1 minus tau square I am giving some time so that students can uh, reduce this function so this is the uh, formula for resonant peak that is the maximum value of uh, closed loop transfer function so we, I already told that uh, u is equal to omega by omega n if it is omega r by omega n then this becomes u r so when you, uh, you are in a position to find omega r now so omega r is equal to omega n into square root of 1 minus 2 tau square because you know u r in the previous slide we have calculated u r just multiply this u r with omega n you will get uh, omega r resonant frequency u r is also resonant frequency but it is normalized and now I am calculating resonant frequency so resonant frequency formula is omega r is equal to omega n into square root of 1 minus 2 tau square so the rest of the specifications uh, like bandwidth uh, phase margin gain margin we will derive it in the next video